All right, guys, another video today on my, on my favorite mask. And I'm just sharing with you guys because this is my favorite mask. I literally have this mask everywhere. One in my house, one in my car, one in my pocket when I'm working. This is great for work environments too because it's so easy to get in and out of. And it's actually very thin, breathable. It doesn't leave rashes. Now, only one thing, if you're a size medium and a large, I think you'll love this mask here, okay? Um, because smalls, this is not, um, how you say, this mask is not um, an adjustable. It is spandex, but it's not as spandex as like a rubber band or anything like that, okay? So generally for medium and large heads only, not extra large and not smalls okay because i i've seen some kids and i've seen some people with smaller heads wear this it's kind of baggy on them kind of like falling off over but for me medium and large i think you're gonna love it um a tip i have when it comes to mask sometimes when you talk you can see that it's pulling down on you okay and then at the end at, within a few words or sentences your mask is down here at this point, right? Kind of like hanging over here when you're talking to somebody. The little trick to that is making sure the top tension is tight, okay? Making sure the top tension is tight. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you just put the mask on, okay, you can kind of feel if you're mindful enough, there's some tension down here more than up here. So what that means is it's actually pulling down. As I'm talking, it's gonna open up over here, okay? You can see that, I'm not using my hands. But if I put it just slightly at nose bridge and I pull the top, notice how much I'm pulling it? The top is now tighter than the bottom. As long as it's not dragging under your chin here, it's not really gonna start going down, okay? So I like this mask because one, it's breathable, two, it's thin, three, I can just go like this if I wanna get some fresh air. And let's just say you're walking around and somebody's getting near you and you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable or you feel uncomfortable, just pop it back up, tighten up the top a little bit, okay? That's why I love this mask so much. So I wanted to share this mask just in case everyone is using masks now. I'm sure some of you who's bought the 3M mask on our site, the KN95 mask on our site, you know, you can feel how heavy it is because you're just almost breathing your own carbon dioxide back in, okay? And actually, there has been articles floating around the internet on two things here. It's gonna be carbon dioxide poisoning, that's one, and then two, um, antibacterial poisoning. Sounds weird, right? But hey, look, this is what articles are putting out. People are actually ending up in the hospitals because of this specific reason where you have this KN95 mask on all day and because you're not getting the right ventilation, meaning your carbon dioxide escaping you, you're huffing it back in. And imagine doing that for four hours straight every day. At some point, this sign and symptom of stomach pain ended up putting some people in the hospital and the doctors end up realizing that they have carbon dioxide poisoning. Just wanted to share that with you guys as well too, okay? And another thing is antibacterial poisoning. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, but apparently if you're huffing and puffing carbon dioxide all day, I think maybe something in our mouths and gums, these bacteria start to flourish in some way, all right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so if you guys actually are experiencing tiredness from having, you know, a thick mask, you need something in your pocket. Like I can just take this off, fold it into a force, and I can keep this in my pocket all day because sometimes when you gotta go into restaurants, markets, um, whatever the case may be, you, you're, you're, you, know, you, you have to have a mask, it's required, I know that. So it's nice to just have this in your pocket in case like you walk out of your car and you forget, it's in your pocket. You just pull out, throwing it over your face, Walk in, get your stuff, get out there, right? Now, one thing is, this is a thinner material here. If I stretch this really hard, you can actually see light. You see that? I think you see me in there. There you go. You can kind of see a 
So there you go, you see that? So if you stretch it really hard, you can actually see light. What does that mean? That means it is porous, okay? So it's best that you keep this not flexible, at all, not flexing at all times. Um, so the question is, does it really protect against COVID? Well, I don't think any mask is 100%. I think everything has a percentage, but I believe that I can see everyone in today's world practicing good hygiene right now. They're washing their hands more. They're using hand sanitizers. This really here is just, number one, to give you comfort, allow you to walk in and out of you know the liquor store really quickly or a... Uh, um, convenience store really quickly so that way you're not um violating any you know laws you're not getting tickets depending on which county and state you're located in okay so i hope this video gives you guys some insight i'm going to leave a link below on this mask here um like i said i'm only sharing this because my favorite mask it's super nimble flexible doesn't leave rashes um it's not uh it, it's how do you say it's um uh, it doesn't leave rashes and it doesn't um, and it's, it's just breathable. It's thin. Okay. And just some tips and tricks on this too. I actually have accidentally thrown this into the washer one time because I left it in my pocket and I threw my laundry in <laughs> and it came out just fine. It actually is in perfect condition afterwards. But another way of, um, cleaning these is UV lighting. Okay. I'm going to leave a link below. I don't have the devices on me because we're, they're shipping in soon. They should be arrived soon. But UV lighting against materials, the UV will actually destroy any um, bacteria, even the coronavirus. Um, but now, one major thing is um, don't look at the light, okay? If you guys are going to make any purchase for UV lighting, don't look at the light with, with, your, with your eyes, especially because there's a lot of UV rays on there. It's not good for your eyes, okay? And uh, don't put it against your skin as well, too because it can give you a tan <laughs> and whatever else it can give you. But at the end of the day, I just want to share this with you video with you really quickly. I hope you found it informative. Share with a friend or family. Click on the notification bell to be alerted. Subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave your comment below. I reply back over there. You guys stay safe in this COVID season. Have a great day. Bye.